Today's Cowboys report is presented by ButcherBox. Take the hassle and stress out of picking out what meats you want, then get higher quality cuts from ButcherBox. They're also giving you a free 10 to 14 pound turkey with your first order when you go to butcherbox.com slash NFL daily and use promo code NFL daily. More on them, but here's what's coming up on today's show. The latest and greatest, perhaps, on Dak Prescott. A Tyron Smith update as well from Dr. Jerry. Who else giving updates on those two? Denzel Mims, Mims trade rumors are back. And the idea of trading away Terrell Basham. We begin, though, with the Dak Prescott latest and the update on that side of things. Now, Dak has said he plans on playing. Mike McCarthy kind of said both on Sunday and on Monday that uh, Dak should be cleared, he should be good to go, all that that good stuff, he'll be just fine and should practice fully this week. The Cowboys, though, have not guaranteed anything at this point in terms of Dak actually playing, but there is a very clear trend the Cowboys are on right now. Here's what Dak had to say, or what Jerry had to say on Dak, I should say, excuse me. He's determined to play on Sunday. From my perspective, I think he's going to get there. We feel like physically he's ready to return. He's going to be given every opportunity this week to go play. He looks ready to go. Jerry continued, I think he'll be back and we'll get to do anything we want to do. I think we've all got it there in terms of, I don't think there will be any limitations. Now, what you need, again, to be clear, is not this year week one deck, which historically has been the outlier. 2019, 2020, 2021, when Dak has been healthy, which is a different, more in-depth conversation, to be clear, he has led the number one ranked offense. Now, I don't think you're going to be the number one ranked offense this year. That feels pretty unrealistic. But if you can get even just a top 10 offense with a much better quarterback at the helm than what you've had the past four games, five games, that team's dangerous. Team is very dangerous given how good the defense has played so far this year. So, how confident are you that Dak ends up playing? And I'm hopeful that it's Dak is back back and not the iffy guy we saw week one. Everyone's around him is playing a bit better too. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So, it's kind of a prediction, I guess. How confident are you that Dak Prescott ends up playing? 1 to 10 is our scale. 1 on the low end, 10 on the high end. If the ad break comes here on YouTube... Take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know how confident you are that Dak Prescott plays against the Detroit Lions. Now, look, we're not going to have Tyron Smith out there this week. That much is very, very clear at this point. But Jerry Jones does continue to hype a potential, hypothetical, eventual Tyron Smith return. There is no timetable yet, but here's what Dr. Jerry who is not a licensed practitioner, had to say. I don't have a game in mind, but his progress is notable. His work is intense. It'll be closer to the end of the year. There's going to be a lot of football from Tyron Smith this season. I would like if that ends up being the case. I'm not sure I'm buying it all the way at this point. So, our next question. We'll go more in depth on Tyron Smith and what the role could look like here in in a minute. But will Tyron Smith play this year? Why? for yes and for no in the comment section. Now, last year, outside of a pretty bad showing against the Niners that I think raised some concerns about Tyron Smith, he was pretty solid. When healthy, that's been the problem with Tyron Smith, right, is he's never, ever healthy. He misses multiple games every single year. In the end, a potential Tyron Smith return is what I call a future Tom problem. Maybe not even a problem. How you juggle your offensive line, right? I think the problem you have here is Jason Peters hasn't had a chance to really be a full-time left guard. He hasn't been great when he's been out there. But better than Connor McGovern, who is not very good right now. Your center's a problem. I I don't think your – he really hasn't been that bad so far this year. Tyler Smith is your left tackle of the future and has been, especially the past couple weeks, up and down. Uh, The last couple games have not been Tyler Smith's best games. Also, some tougher competition. He's got five penalties this year, three sacks, three hits, seven hurries. I think his run grade from PFF is a little bit low, but the sacks, hit, hurries, and penalties stuff, that's just the film side. That's how the numbers work out there in the end. I think if a healthy Tyron Smith returns, he is one of your best five. 
I don't know what the best five look like from a positional standpoint. Let's see how Tyler Smith keeps playing. Maybe you put Tyron back at left tackle. Maybe you don't. Maybe he's your backup left tackle. Maybe you put Tyler at left guard. That's a different conversation to have when there's still a lot more sample size to get there. If Tyler Smith is playing well, I'm not sure I want to move him from left guard. Today's Cowboys report is made possible by ButcherBox. They take the guesswork out of finding high-quality meat and seafood. You can trust it. Grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, humanely raised, no antibiotics, extra hormones. You get just what you want delivered right to your doorstep. There's also free shipping for the continental U.S. and no surprise fees. You might not realize this, but turkey prices, higher than ever, which, you know, probably makes some sense there. The number one stressor for me as a diehard Cowboys fan come Thanksgiving is the Cowboys themselves. But the main course for Thanksgiving dinner can sometimes be a main source of stress as well. Not anymore. ButcherBox is offering our listeners free turkey with their first order. Yeah, a 10 to 14 pound turkey free in your first box when you sign up at butcherbox.com slash NFL daily and use code NFL daily. That's butcherbox.com slash NFL daily. Use code NFL daily to claim the deal. It's in the comment section in the description. I made some fire burgers the other week with ButcherBox. ButcherBox uh, uh, beef, excuse me, the bacon. And then I had my own eggs and avocado on top. A little bit of a runny egg because I know how to cook right. Fantastic. You will love ButcherBox. I think I'll have the exact same thing. ButcherBox.com slash NFL daily. That's ButcherBox.com slash NFL daily. Use code NFL daily. Let's talk trade rumors now. Denzel Mims once again back because he's never gone, right? Uh, Sports Illustrated, Mike Fitcher. Pitt. Fisher, excuse me, pitched the idea of the Cowboys trading for Denzel Mims instead of a DJ Moore or a Chase Claypool. And Mims would be a much cheaper option from that standpoint. You're talking about a, a much more cost-efficient salary hit-wise and draft capital cost-wise. Now, ESPN does report the Jets are not actively shopping Mims, and there's no traction at this point on a potential trade. Here was the trade idea floated out by Sports Illustrated. Cowboys get Denzel Mims. Jets get a 2024 seventh-round conditional pick. I'm in. Let's ride. I'm all for that trade. I'd do that in a heartbeat. I'd do it right now. Yes, you can have my future seventh-round pick for a former second-rounder. I don't know why the Jets would do that. I, I would do it. But the Jets had allegedly a fourth conditional, fourth round conditional pick asking price for Mims. Maybe it was a fifth. Going from a seventh into a future pick, that's giving Mims away for free. I don't think the Jets want to do that. Now, if they wanted to, I'd be all down. We'll spend some more time on Mims and why I'm still unconvinced the Cowboys will go after a wide receiver. But first, trade deadline just around the corner. We will keep you guys covered on everything going on around the Cowboys. Trades, rumors, and news. And great time to remind you, the Cowboys report. Us here at Chat Sports. More subscribers than the actual Detroit Lions YouTube channel. The Cowboys have a fantastic track record of beating teams that we have more subscribers than. So let's keep subscribing so the Cowboys beat more teams, right? Hit that big red button and subscribe right now for free Cowboys videos. Denzel Mims, I liked him a lot coming out of Baylor. I know producer Patrick did as well. I have some interest if he's super cheap. I'm not trading a fourth-round pick for him, though, because he hasn't done anything. At a certain point, despite the pre-draft uh, value we assign to a player, if they're just not getting on the field as good as that Jets wide receiving core is, there's a real chance that, you know what, maybe we were wrong and the NFL was right. Sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes it's not. I would love to add Denzel Mims. I think it's add talent for a future seventh. Sure, let's ride. But you've got CeeDee Lamb. Hopefully the return of Dak Prescott gets Gallup going a little bit there. Noah Brown's been a nice piece. And the Cowboys are not out on Jalen Tolbert right now. He actually played a little bit. So if I get him for a seventh, sure. I wouldn't mind adding another dynamic wide receiver option. The Cowboys said preseason, we don't need help. And they got they kind of got by the rough patch. So I am unconvinced that will continue in terms of the Cowboys adding talent. I'm down, but I'm not going to get my hopes up because we know how Catboy tends to operate. More trade rumors this time from ESPN. 
uh, the, the Jeremy Fallon, I believe, wrote this article this morning. Uh, execs say Dallas is willing to part with defensive depth, such as pass rusher Terrell Basham, who's on injured reserve but is eligible to return at any time. We'll go more in depth on Basham, why I do think this makes sense. But will the Cowboys make a trade, a singular trade? One for yes, zero for no. Sound off for me in the comments section. Now, Basham does make sense. Now, he's got to be healthy. I don't know if his injury was really a full-fledged four-week injury from that standpoint, but I believe he's eligible to come back. I know that. I think he's pretty good to go there. And the Cowboys have depth, a pass rusher. Basham is their fifth or sixth option right now, and he can be a four for a team, and teams always need pass rush help. You can save some money. Maybe you flip Basham for a piece somewhere else. Bash him for Denzel Mims. Who says no? Probably the Jets, but still, wouldn't that be fun, right? The Cowboys are in good shape along the, de the defensive end spot in particular, acknowledging that Micah Parsons is the athlete more so than a pure defensive end. Tank Lawrence has played great. Dorrance Armstrong has had a good year. Second breakout for him. Micah. Dante Fowler's done well when not jumping off sides. Chauncey Golson brings you some run stopping. Sam Williams in a very small role has flashed. You go six deep among pass rushers. I don't know if you need Basham right now. So that's a good name trade candidate-wise to keep an eye out for. If you have any Cowboys trade ideas, thoughts, questions, whatever, feel free to DM me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny.